the sorcerers, they know what these things are and they use them and they have to believe it. Oh, I'm speaking too much. Wait for Why the video, you please. Saying you're speaking too much, Tarek. Because is there, are you running on like a schedule? The truth is, if I'm giving like that or about my religion or I'm telling people about something that's true, I'm not holding back anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even if I sound crazy, the fact that I know it, I'm not holding it back. Even as much as I'm going to keep on saying it, trying to convince people, trying to find new ways of telling them, but I'm not going to hold back any information from them. I'm going to pour everything out and then. Right, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Oh. All right. Who are you going to get in trouble with, Eric? Show you the truth about emojis, right? But the sooner we know the better. You sound like what people, what them conspiracy theorists talk about Americans holding back information because they're worried about the public panicking. Everybody here wants to know the secrets about the emojis. So, okay, I'm going to explain something about this. So these were symbols in the Quran when uh, there's a there's an ayat that says when the truth came to them, they threw the the books behind their their backs and they basically they followed what the devils have, have taught them. And the children of Israel, what their belief was, especially after Shaitan, he showed them that, look, uh, Suleiman kept these books under his throne. So they had this belief that Suleiman used devils to basically do his bidding. And we know that Suleiman never disbelieved. The Quran clears up no, this, uh, this uh, exactly. Now, this here, these sigils are called the 72 lesser keys of Suleiman. So these are the demons that the, the children of Israel, especially the ones that practice Kabbalah and uh, geometry, uh, they, uh, they said that these are the demons that Suleiman used to invoke upon and you can do it too. And what they do is they basically have, have these sigils and they teach you in this grimoire, in this book, how to invoke these demons and how to use them. And one of them was called Asmodeus. And this is in yes. their folk in, in their folklore. And there's also the mention of Bal, which is uh, yes, sorry Bal. Bal, which is in the Quran. And Allah even says you, you invoke in Bal. Well. Now the thing yeah. about amulets, guys, is within amulets you have to do inscriptions. For example, if you try to go get a Tawiz, there you have to do some sort of inscription. You know that's why it's best like just stay away from it. It's not even worth it. Most of the time, the guy is trying to put a, a, a spell on you. Okay, the thing about sigils is sigils can also be hidden. And this is why many of the times we see amulets and they say, oh, it's only, it's only Quran, it's only Quran. And you, and you look at it, it looks like Quran, but then they hide little things in there uh, from the shayateen. And it's the same thing with the um, sigils. Yeah, okay, you're saying these are signs, not emojis. Now we'll get to... Uh, how, yeah. Now we'll get to... Okay, now Tariq, mm -hmm. show them. Okay, so this, these are basically modern forms of shuk. You're basically, when you use these, you're, you're invoking these devils. You have been committing shuk without realizing it. The other thing you have to understand is you're still creating a face, right? You should not be competing with, uh, with Allah in, in creation and they serve no purpose. We wanted to release an entire video. Uh, we wanted to release an entire video explaining from A to Z what, what it says in the Quran, what happened during the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because somebody, if you guys remember, somebody actually, they put a spell on Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they, they tied knots. That was one of the ways. But like, if we would have just came and showed this, the people wouldn't have believed. But if we explained it from the Quran and using the, the, the false gods mentioned in the Quran, then the people would have understood. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, Akhi, you're right. I agree with you. This information should have been bought out. But guys, just be careful. And here's another thing. There are actually... Yeah. How is it more? Now, there are actually witches that use the um, yeah. the emojis, emojis for their magic. Oh.